I'm, I'm just looking at it like you've got two map controllers, you've got your Sage, you've got your um, your Cypher as well, and I think it's going to be Sage to get sacrificed out. But I'm sure, as always, as we say with these rules of don't pick Rays when you come to Haven, yep. that someone will find a different thing, they'll sacrifice something else, and they'll prob probably make it work. And we'll sit here in five months going, wow, how could you ever think that wouldn't work? Well, you were correct, Mitchell. I'm going to say that straight off the bat. It is surprised? split. Yeah, I'm not surprised either, let's be honest. <laughs> it is the way we expected this all to go. But my, oh my, is this going to be the same as what we saw last time, right? Is this going to be the domination coming out from FPX again? Or is G2 going to show us, nope, we've turned it around. We know how to deal with this. And we're definitely not scared of a team like this. Well, I can only hope that G2 have done their homework, gone back over the game that mm -hmm. they played versus FPX and are ready to roll because this map has been up and down for FPX. They are definitely vulnerable on it. But they've only played it twice. They're such a new roster. <laughs> it's hard to really know where they're at. True. The game versus Project SW, obviously we haven't watched it. We don't know. Maybe they came in not so focused. They took a 10-2 lead on the defensive side yep. and then lost out with two rounds on the attack to bring it to an OT. So for maybe it was overconfidence in play. That wouldn't be the first time that we'd seen like Angel and Xiao, certainly over on Party Pirates. They struggled to close out games sometimes because of ludicrous plays whenever they felt like they were just so <laughs> far ahead of a team. Yeah, do you know what? I remember with Party Pirates, how many games, they didn't throw, but it's just like, you're so far ahead, boys. Why do you just try and hold on to this lead? Just play your standard. Yeah, because it's the thing where like, you, you know, you lose a couple rounds and then all of a sudden it's like, oh damn, we're, we're behind. Yeah. <laughs> it's just bad. Ooh, big nice push wall. coming out here. Shadow was nearly on top of that wall. Pretty close. Knives oh, away. Here we go from Ardis oh, again. I love it. Absolutely love it. The nade to go down afterwards as well. They thought they were safe to run back towards the wall, but yeah, they don't take any damage from it. It's just a delay tactic at this point. Certainly would have hoped that it would light them up a little bit if you're G2. Mixwell puts himself in a good spot at the same time. No armor though for him. The wall's just now broken. Got a little bit of help from a few bullets. And they're waiting for some pinks to come through. G2. Oh, here it is. Mixwell swung, but Angel was the one mm. to fall instead. And now they've got to push forward and look for some semblance of control. One by one, they're taking these fights, and that scares me. But now they're grouped. I'm ready to push Artist down, but that's slow. Well, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to slow them down. And they really are running out of time here, though, so they can't afford to be slowed too much. Piff's camera's gone out. That's probably going to be noticed straight away. Ardis. Ooh, he's actually pushing back downstairs. Now information gets passed on towards him, though. The Sage sees what's going on. Zipan looks to go forward. Throws it out. Oh, he's doing some nice damage. Goes in for the second as well. And that is why it's called Zipan Go Kill. The grenade's also going out. They're trying to push through it. Artist believes he can make it work. But they are not finished just yet. It is all on the Omen now in a two versus one. Panatek starts off strong. And oh, they face him. But they face him one by one. Panatek grabs it. And the first round goes to G2 on their defensive side. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous with 25 health left to win that one out. A 1-0 to zero for G2. They've got to be so happy to come out on top. The defensive side can be hard to pick up those rounds, but really, I'm sorry, for Fun Plus Phoenix on the attacking side, it can be hard to pick up those rounds. And so for the pistol round to not go their way, that's, especially considering where they were, like it looked like they had it on lock, that's got to really hurt them. It's They've got to be good at where they're at. And they, was, they were running out of time. They were heavily pressured. Zipan even gets three kills. Oh. If Angel hadn't gone down there, it could have been a different scenario, but it's a bunch of what-ifs. And you don't win games with what-ifs, you need to play better. With their hearts broken, FPX have to take an eco. It's just El Clasico's with a few ghosts. I don't think they're going to get much done up against the likes of these Spectres, considering there should be no armor in play from what we were seeing. A steep nade, a little bit too, too late, though. Comes in, gives plenty of notice, and those players just back off. David P. Looking to play very aggro with a ghost himself. Yeah. Not a big fan of that one. He really wanted to push up on it. You'll see the delay as they push up of Cypher every so often checking that cam for outside of B. Hmm. They, once they know they haven't pushed up, you know, they should be fairly comfortable. Oh, that's smoke for Panatech oh. up above. He's going to go for the paranoia as well. That's caught them coming through. Mixwell's on the defense though. Palatek still walking away with kills. So far, so good for the G2 side. 
Only one player left to find. And, well, they're spamming through all the smokes, but they can't make the shots connect. Angel's still on 100 health. He's just like, all right, yeah, you just shoot your shots, boys. You're not going to be able to find me just yet. And he's in the, the position where he might hope to get one kill at best. But, oh, they spot him. Now they're all going to face him. No one's trying to chase him down just yet. Fifth comes round. And simple stuff, realistically. Five still alive. G2 get the second round. FPX didn't really get that close to the site. But now they buy up. Now they go in for the kill. <laughs> Look at the buy for G2 as well. There's, They've got yeah. four Spectres oh. alongside that operator just purchased up by David P, of all people. He is playing mid over towards the B side. He's got A lot of the time. Up. It makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. He's decided to go... Over towards the B site now. He'll be trying to find those early picks. Ooh, okay. The cam goes up. Oh, he's just bailing. And Artis, of course, still gets a kill, even though he's got the Spectre. You know, why not? Just rushes out like crazy. Angel needs to be very careful here. Mixwell close range is dang. Oh, they're not checking. Oh, no. Check your corners, oh, guys. Boys. A 2K from Mixwell just catches them in the back with the headshots. A free upgrade as well. Oh, Banks. How many times are we going to have to say it? I, I don't understand what is with these pro players not checking corners. We both peaked in... Like, you both peaked, right? Very close on the same time. And neither of you... Wow, all the Spectres <laughs> getting the kills, okay? That's ridiculous. This is the new meta, G2, right? This is insane for G2 to just... Don't upgrade and get all the kills. Yeah. yeah they haven't died. It's flawless at the moment. <laughs> this, is in, like, this is pure insanity. They can rotate one through rope room, obviously, and pick up another what, rifle. Xiao's got to get at least one. Xiao has to get at least one. Make this at least somewhat of a decent buy. I'm I'm really confused why players don't check corners at the moment. Especially if you've got someone that's what fifteen years of Counter Strike experience. Like you know, maybe if you're coming from Overwatch, you know, you're still getting used to that aspect of it. But oh, in any man. FPS, even the Overwatch player should be checking corners. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that is that is unbelievable. Look. Da, 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 you can da, see, da, but we, look, he thought about it. We even tell Angel, we even like, look, yeah, 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 check. You know? He thought about checking it as well. He cleared it, like half cleared it, but not for the tight angle. But if you're both going at the same time, yeah. one checks one corner, one checks the other. The first guy goes through, checks right. Second guy, checks right. Like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think someone was only visible to you? The little details. It is. It's something that, I guess, as this lineup goes on, they'll get that synergy up on, but... At the same time... No, but it's just basic fundamentals. Yeah, it, that's what I'm, Don't that's try what I'm and be nice here, yeah. Mitch. Even I'm going to say it's not about being nice. This is... <laughs> I expect to see this in my pub games, not from FPX. <laughs> We've had some amazing games at times. Uh, in a round that Nick they... Nick's probably just laughing right now, just sat in his chair going... Oh, look at, look oh. at their money banks. This is round... Yeah. Just, just so everyone knows, this is round four. It looks like they've robbed a bank. <laughs> you shouldn't have that much money on round three. Like, it's not even just... A, well, maybe you have the money on round three if, like... Fun plus four second or something, but like you came up against a full buy, yep. got free upgrades from four specters and an operator. This is the world we're living in. Zipan, ooh, very aggressive here. He's Quite been dead. spotted, but David P let him get very far, didn't he? Mixwell nearly died. Yeah, he was smoked out there. You can see Mixwell wasn't quite aware of that, having to go for the, the rope operator shot. Not quite. Oh, Dave's in so much trouble here, but he's got them lined up potentially. Grabs one, but he's completely blind. Couldn't even transfer over as Angel deals with him on the Sheriff and puts a lot of pressure on Patatech. He's completely isolated now. It's impressive he even got one there, to be fair. Yeah, the first player swung out a little bit before that flash popped. Obviously, I think he even got blinded by it as well, potentially. But for Patatech, he's just in a sea of red. And, oh, they're going to start splitting it through. The problem is that wall is up, right? I saw the smoke. I thought, oh, yeah, you can maybe sneak way. on up, but not with the wall in play. There's the boost up. Looking for a player, but Shadow wisely doesn't peek it. Eventually does go down. So Angel will be able to push his way in. Spike to be planted. Mixwell still on the hunt, looking for someone to overextend. Oh, he's popped the ult, so... You just throw a knife out just randomly, just... You know what, I don't need this one. He might... Oh, he was turning right, actually, so I guess he wouldn't have hit his keyboard. I don't know. That was very odd. <laughs> Bit of a strange one, it happens sometimes. Mix our smokes are down, though. Angel is actually making... Oh, no! That is not what G2 want. This is better, though, and it's not even with that grade of buy coming out from FPX. Straight away, oh, this is only good for one. Angel being the lockdown master there on his omen. 
three to one, but like we said, the money is ridiculously good for G2, so it's not really a problem for him at this stage. Like, all that FPX have done is make up for the previous round, which yeah. they should have won. So now they're in a position where three to one, this is the scoreline we expected to see coming through. So yeah, it's even better. It should be two to one, really. G2 have got all that extra money. They've got a free round on the board, and now they look to come back in and answer up. Now, if you take a look at the ultimates that are in play, mm -hmm. you can see they're massively favored towards FPX. Was it uh, Artis is about to grab one? So that, especially being the showstopper on this map in particular, oh, yeah. that could be massive. Close range domination with that showstopper. And of course, they wasted off the jet ultimate as well in the previous round. So G2 so lost a lot. It was so unlucky for Mixwell. It's bridged the gap for FPX. But that's, but that's happened. It's all about bridging the gap, but it, can you bridge the skill gap, which at the moment, from how it looked, was in G2's favor. The wall and the grenades go, oh, that's not an ult you want to pop there. <laughs> oh, this pops his back in retaliation. He's not able to find anything with it, but I like the style. Mixo and Ardis, very aggressive. Ardis just isn't backing down from this. And he's going to walk away with some kills. Shao trying to pop it through the smoke, but it's not going to work. And well, Mixo will help Ardis get the hell out of there. Oh, you would think that. But it's Artis. He course, continues no, to aggress. I, I agree. He should have probably cut me out of <laughs> I thought that smoke was down. He's like, oh, you can cross come back, Artis. It'll be safe. No, no, I might no. get a few more. He, he just looks at the smoke and goes, but now I can isolate the fights. <laughs> He's like, now they're smoked off. <laughs> exactly. This is in my favor. <laughs> no surrender. Well, Artis has gone down, but at the end of the day, it's a 4v2. And for FBX to pull back into this is going to require the performance of a lifetime. But with Xiao alive, things can definitely still go their way. Mixwell... He almost peeked out. Xiao was waiting for it. He was trying to bait him. And he has to fall back at this point. There's not enough time, though, surely. You go, yeah, you're not getting on. You're no. saving. FPX. You may have got one round, but D2 got you right back. With FPX, they really spend a lot of time trying to take this mid control. They had a lot more success when they were pushing on A in the previous game they played against G2 on split. That was the place they were just able to entry like a boss, no problem. And obviously Angel, he's the entry fragger in this lineup. Shao is not having a good game, which is always a problem here. If you're an FPX fan, he's the one that needs to be that secondary star to Zipan. You've got Angel entry fragging, Zipan and Shao are the, the stars that come out there. And then your consistency in Shadow and Meadow. We do know, obviously, that FPX are solid on the defensive side. I think G2, yeah. I presume we're doing knife rounds, right? I'm never, I'm never really sure on that. Maybe production can clarify for us, but like usually side uh, to decide what side you're on, the best of one, it's going to be a knife round. Um, and if that's the case, then G2 have gotten away with murder by winning that one. Because mm. getting off to this strong of a start, plus the context to which they went up 3-1, is just huge. It's FPX. They need five or six rounds to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's even judging on G2's performance last time. And as I said, I imagine they've done some serious homework on that game. So here we have it. FPX going for that slow play once again. They're going to try and push into B, but Piff's camera is in the perfect position. They even, even managed to tag him. Oh! Oh, 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 wow. unlucky timing. That's not working out either. Mixwell jumps up, thinks he can be able to at least take one, but instead all he does is some damage. David P's going to have to move out the way. Brilliantly done from Shadow there, using the breach in a great way. And that's how you get onto a site. That's how you execute. And that's a huge turnaround. Artist gets one, but he straight away slapped down. That's more convincing. That's a round that you really need to have go your way for FPX. Right? That's a confidence booster. It was really important for Shadow to break the wall most of the way uh, before ulting. And then obviously that uh, TP we saw coming through to the back of the site was just a gigantic brain in play. Because for Angel, he gets in there. That player has to turn and shoot him, but he does so at just the moment mm. that his teammate's coming around the corner, giving a free frag to zip on, allowing them to obviously open up that site completely. Dealing with a Cypher is always very difficult. And, especially when you're pushing through those choke point angles. So they just completely distracted him by TPing behind so he couldn't actually take advantage of the choke point. No, this just rocked up to the alt point, no problem. Got it for himself, put out the boom bot and then backs away. I felt like he only used it like a couple of rounds ago as well. Yeah. And he's already back in. The 
power of Ardis is a scary one on that raise. It is the battle of two of the best raises we have. At least Zipan and Ardis, you'd say, are more like similar in, in style. Where Soulcast is a different breed of raise. Yeah, Soulcast is a very, I guess, more of like a supportive teamwork. raise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a, the teamwork is number one. Though he's been fragging out this tournament, to be honest. Outwall's really good for David P. Allowing his teammate to get up on top and force a fight. And he could potentially be right side as well. So they decide to just give up that control for Fun Plus Phoenix. It's too much of a risk. Oh. They get double peaked. Patatech on the spray slows it, but they're ready. They just spray straight on through. Oh my the god. The ult that came in from Artist somehow didn't connect onto what? any kills, but it almost finished I off one exactly of the players, well. who's now managed to pop his ultimate down. FPX. Meadows on literally one HP. So they no. need to rely on Zip Out and Shadow to do all this heavy lifting. Cyfrol gave them a bit of information, but again, they're, they've run this clock down. It's very hard. They're going to try and push their way in. David P's in a great position. He could put an end to this straight away. He's got Pip anyway, so it doesn't even matter. They line up for him. David P on the corner of it all. And a fifth round now for G2 as FPX. They cannot get more than one round at a time. It's just G2 saying, yeah, okay, we'll let you have this one, but then we'll bounce straight back. It was a really smart play by G2 to immediately, once they were spotted by that ultimate, they start rotating to the B side, realizing that obviously in the positions they currently were in, that was the big hole. And for David P to be that passive, to not jump up on top, considering the time, again, just speaks volumes to how solid he's been playing. If he jumps on top of the bin and they kill Pith, they could spray transfer onto him. He also has one kill at the moment. And you know that players, whenever they're not playing well, sometimes they get a little bit greedy, a little bit itchy yeah. to go out for those fights. But he just tucked in, happy that if Pith died, they wouldn't check that position. Why would they? And he'd easily win them the round. And that's what's important. That's what you need in a professional player and a good teammate. Not to give a damn if he's got one kill and could find another two here to just play for the win. I cannot believe what just came out of your mouth. Why would they check that corner? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's been the problem of the last few days for a lot of these teams. Now, Piff's got some extra information. This push is coming in. Typical wall off. All of FPX. They found success here before, but can they get it done now? Wall no. gets put on the floor. And Shao, this is nice. Bodies hit the ground. David P is trying to battle back. The rotation has come in, but is it going to be enough here? Oh, this is brilliant from FPX. Spike's going to be planted. It's only Mixwell that's up. He doesn't have an ult to play with. He knows exactly where to look, though. It's the default plant. Oh, nice work from Shadow. Pushes him back, but no one's pushing Mixwell. And he'll just fade away into this one with the Operator in hand. He doesn't want to allow them to take... Oh, it's a Phantom, not Operator. My bad. So actually, considering G2's money is still pretty okay, he could have gone for it, but I guess he's thinking 1v4. I've got no hope in this. Yeah, probably the right call as well. They're hunting him down, though, coming quite quickly mm. around this corner. They're not, the spacing is terrible. That's an easy one-by-one one fight. All Angel had to do was wait a second for Shadow to come with him, but you could see that problem before it even really came through. Oy. And Mixwell gets a triple. That's his Mixwell. ultimate almost online immediately. And massive mistakes by FPX. Okay, hunt him down. Sure, you can afford to. And you want to take the weapon out of their hand, but why do it with that kind of spacing when you see, oh, well, if I die, my teammate can't trade me. Got to group up. Also, early on, they didn't bait out Artis's nade, and I yep. really, I saw them push out, and they were very grouped up. I thought, oh, here comes the nade to finish it off, but he just never threw it. Or maybe he threw it mid-early on preemptively. I didn't spot that if it happened. Mixwell, the headshot machine, as he saves his weapon over to the next round. Smash FPX do secure round. a third, but... Okay, we talk about how good FPX's defensive side is. They still need at least five in my eyes. This is against a G2 that's... Again, looking better. Definitely. This is G2 look whoops. This is G2 looking a lot cleaner than what we saw before. Obviously that aftershock was supposed to go over and cover the box, mm -hmm. so they do have to check the corner as they go forward. You can see Angel's being a little bit aware of that now spam from the left. Check his left. <laughs> there we go. Not You're learning, Angel. You even spin round quickly to look towards the right side as well. That accuracy on the spin was insane. That's a one eighty just perfectly on where they'd be on the rope. Angel with his years and years and years and years and years of experience. Yeah. Especially for a man like me who plays ultra low sense. I'd have to run around my room a whole lap <laughs> to get that kind of a flick. Just throw the mouse. <laughs> Try to catch it as it spins back around. Use a pedal, a foot pedal to shoot. So you can just chuck your mouse. 
<laughs> I bet there's someone in the world that does that. Ooh, Mixwell, not ideal for him. He may have done well on saving it, but it's taken straight out of his hands and he didn't put much of a fight up. The wall goes off from Shao there. Still the numbers advantage for FPX. He's got to be so careful. Shao in with a revive, but that could instantly find him going down. Shao tries to back him up, but Zipan falls straight after. Angel getting it through the smoke does land the headshot, and now it's all on Ardis. He's used his ult already, and he's going to back into this one and say, nope, I'm not going to have it. I want to hold on to my weapon and make sure I can stay alive with it, at least until the next round. Such a massive bait by Shao. <laughs> he yeah. just reses him up and it's, it's like, like, I'm going to get the kill when they peek you, though. Rezzing him in the open, though, like, come on, man. Just yeah. wait for the first fight to go down. I think that was, that was the logic, though, right? It's like, well, either you're going to get rezzed and cool, you're in the round, or they're going to peek and I'm going to kill them. And he got one, but Zipan's going to be like, bro, really? You just sacrificed my stats like that? Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so you don't want me to be top no more, bro? Yeah, he's just wrecking that KD. This is obviously a long, long save. Yeah. So far away, there's no way anyone gets to him at this point. Angel would need to join a track team <coughs> if he got here. Close, but no cigar. You nearly can join a track team then. Yeah, yeah. Closer to me anyways, I'll tell you that. I would have made it to mid and I would have had an asthma attack. <laughs> That's honestly I've been thinking about uh, foot pedals. Hmm. Uh, so, like, you know, racing, racing pedals. Yeah. And like their application, I don't know if you can have them active at the same. I know like in CS you can have a controller and um, mouse and keyboard active at the same time. Haven't tested it in Valorant because like it'd be handy for some abilities rather than having to click Q in this. You just like foot pedal left, foot pedal right. You know. Mitch and his weird bindings. We'll have to see if it could be a thing for the future. <laughs> oh, this is aggression. That nade's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> and the spray down onto Shadow. That is naughty, but he's instantly taken out of it. Patatech has to fall back as well. Throws down the orbs as he wants to make sure he's got some cover now. But they can just back away from this. So much happening early on in the round. The fact that Ardis even got that kill was pretty damn respectable. Oh, will they expect, though? This is really nice from Mixwell. Look at it. Tucked away in the corner. It's again. Oh, my. How are they allowing this to keep happening? Check your corners. God, this is ridiculous. How many times? The wall is really what caused that paranoia, though. David True. P puts it down. They're like, he's going to peek. He's going to come out on top of Mixwell. But like, people have not seen war movies, right? Where they're like, oh, yeah, okay. You eyes forward. And he tells the guy behind him, you check left, you check right. Like, yeah. We need that kind of communication, boys. <laughs> well, that's fair because right, the first player around the corner was the widest to the right. So he'd be the one that got caught if David P did peek. The other two, there's no reason they need to hold that as well at that exact moment. Meadow's just trying to hold on for dear life here. He hasn't got the spike, which is the problem, right? He's going to yeah, cross mid to get it. It's just never going to happen. It's just saving. Seconds. Literally just saving. Yeah, I was so smart, though, by David P to put the wall down in that yep. position so that they would be worried about it. They're, like, your automatic thought process at that point is, okay, we need to break the wall or we need to watch for him pushing on top of it. And instead... They just get absolutely wrecked. And another victim of the corners in this game. I think I might. we might have to change our bios to that. Just check your corners. Check your corners. Make a, make a show on it, mate. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be our Valorant podcast. Just called Check, check your, your Corners. corners. The number one Valorant podcast. Showing the pros which corners to this. Look, like, look that's such a good bait, David P. He's so solid. Like, you see, in, in a lot of situations, you could say, like, Mixwell did amazing and he had good positioning. It's teamwork. He, he got the kills, but you're sort of expected to in that position. It's just David P lining him up. And that's another thing. Another aspect of David P we didn't see in Counter-Strike to the, anywhere near the same degree is how selfless he is and how solid of a team player mm. at the moment. Completely agree. Loving it. It's 6 4 for G2 now, though. Two round lead and still close. Still very close. These two teams really do give it their all when it comes to split. Satchel out. We knew we were in for a close game, right? When it came to this matchup, when it came to the map as well, I was hoping we'd get split out of it. But I didn't really think G2 would. Uh, would necessarily want to go towards this. Mm -hmm.
But obviously, as I said, there's a lot. Like, they could basically pick whatever map they wanted as long as uh, FPX were getting rid of Ascent. G2 just love a challenge, mate. Yeah, they're like, you beat us on it last time? No, nah, we'll not again. again. Not let's again. Just, let's see how it goes. But it was so close last time. That was the, the thing. That's why I was hoping we'd get this out. Look at the ults in play for G2 at the moment. With the exception of artists, everybody is online right now and ready to go. And the only reason Artis doesn't have it is because every time it is available, he just pops it. Oh, Zipan! What? what? Why did Panatec not react though for ages? He, he, was, he was blinded by the ah, paranoia, okay. but Zipan just shot like 20 bullets above his head. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> He's very spike down. Oh, this is not good. They're getting wrecked. Artis and David oh P God. locking it down. Absolutely destroyed. And FPX, that was not the push into B that they'd been having success with from the rounds before. Well, hey, Banks, you know what? Uh, Artis has got his ult again. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no surprise there. <laughs> just shreds them. That was insane as they come through. The How first many of all, he had? Four? four kills there. Look, one, another 1v1, another 1v1. And, oh, no, there was even a lineup as well over on the Shadow after taking down Meadow. That's disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely. He just looks untouchable sometimes. I love Artis's raise. I told you I wanted to see it. You did indeed. He is the player that is perfect for a raise. They talk about the duelist, right? And they're like, oh, use a jet, use a rainer and stuff like that, or a phoenix. No. Artis, his aggression, his cockiness, you know you want to be giving him that raise. They've heard the cancellation. They know that Omen didn't commit towards this angle, that Angel's gone back, but the push is still coming in towards the A site. Oh. Mixwell able to find the opening, but now he's under heavy pressure and taken down by Angel on the Guardian. Patatek not spotted, but they know he used to play here. Angel, one after another on the Guardian, oh. but Patatek is the Guardian of the A site, closing it down and making sure FPX don't get it done. Came out of that round with a lot of ults still in play. Yeah, yeah. They were just like, we don't really need it. Artis used this the moment he saw anything moving. Of just, course, as just always. Just fired off. Didn't connect with anyone, mind you, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Sometimes he doesn't even need to see them move. And I'm honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't see the same thing as last time. You remember Artis towards B? He had the double blast pack push. Yeah. The paranoia went through, and he caught them off guard. That was really nice to see. But then again, one of the best things you can do is obviously keep your hand varied. You don't want to go for the same thing again and again. Yeah, don't come, become predictable. Exactly. So FPX needing a monstrous defensive side. Xiao, I'm not the biggest fan of him on the Sage. I've, I've made that very clear. And he's such an incredible player at times. But you need to give him his comfort. Well, you know, maybe he won't have to wait too long. Just a few days, he can get Killjoy. <laughs> Could you imagine? Xiao on Killjoy. I'm awaiting. <laughs> so T2, though, early in the pistol round. Full mid control. They know FPX like to give it up. Oh, the timing! They both run into each other. Angel's not going to like that at all. Shadow needs to do something huge here. The flash goes out. Oh, Mixwell. The timing as well. This is just perfect from G2. They know exactly how to react. There's the problem for Shadow. He blinked just as Mixwell went past him. Took him a second to realize hey, he's behind me. And all of a sudden, he was being shot in the side by a frenzy. Mixwell's all the, one of the only players you see dedicate to this yeah. frenzy every single time and that's why on the pistol round now going in for the ghost though you'll always take the upgrade if you can get it the armor as well already taken off him but it just doesn't matter finishing on 19 wow. health a double opening for him and g2 pick up a ninth fpx not quite in the same boat and not delivering the same form of series as we saw before if they don't get on the board now again i want to just point out it's their defense that they really deliver on but last time to come back into this, they won the pistol on the defensive side. They went up three to zero, and it was that boost of rounds that stopped yeah. them from losing and allowed them to take it thirteen to ten. Without the pistol, they've just made this just turned it into hard mode. Angel loves a bit of hard mode though. But can he crack the code that is G2 on split? And he did it once before. Can he do it again in a best of one that'll see him go down to the lower bracket? Oh, oh my god, Mixwell. Naughty boy, but Angel. Tries to slap him back with that ghost in hand. G2 still going to push on this comfortably. Oh, this isn't working out now at all. Fun plus Phoenix. They're trying to hold on, but it's not working out in any way. No matter what they try to do here. A bit more damage goes the way of Piff. He's actually quite low on health now. Still, though, the Sage is up. It's a two versus one. Piff doesn't have his healing, though, so they just need to play this smart and play it together. Tap, yeah. tap, 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 spray. Shell goes down. 
Tenth round secured for G2, and this is where it gets very scary and very awkward for Fun Plus Phoenix. The judge even saved over there. I will say, Banks, I'm not a fan of the play Mixwell just made. I wouldn't like lo on that round in particular when you're against pistols. <laughs> uh, he did like he sacrificed himself to take a classic out. However, Whoa. it was damn good to watch. <laughs> it looked really it, good. You got to give one thing to Mixwell. Even though sometimes you might question his decision making, mm -hmm. he's stylish with how he does it. You know? That's it. That, well, that's it, right? He's like the Gucci player from from Valorant, <laughs> right? He's like the one that's rocking all the the flashy stuff. That's it. It's like, I'm not a fan of the play, but it looked really good. So, I wouldn't mind seeing it a few more times, but it definitely did harm them. I mean, it came down to a 1v2. If it wasn't... Oh, whoops. that's not good. It's your teammate there. Shao trying to hold on to this. This is where it gets scary for G2. Oh, he's trying to pop the judge, but... Instead, all you're going to do is be slowed down. The wall goes up. David P tries to put him down, but they're just going to hide in the B site for now. Yeah, the rotators come around fully from Xiao down to the lower B. He doesn't even want to take that fight up or anymore. Angel's just going to spot it every now and then. But the problem at this point is they have to be worried about that split in through the spawn. So Angel rotates quite carelessly, honestly. Not worrying too much about them having already pushed through upper B. Which I'm quite surprised at. Well, maybe he thought, I suppose, because the wall was there and it was unbroken. So David P, had he pushed forward, mm. made it all the way around, he could have caught some free kills. But that form of aggression when you're on a, on a man disadvantage would have been a little bit lackluster. Obviously, you'll get a reward for it every now and then, but I think the majority of the time, you just run into two players and get punished. Cover going down. 20 seconds left. Are oh, they going to wait for Angel, though? He pushes round, starts off strong onto the first. Oh, oh wow. Shao! That's more like it. That's what you need to see happen. He gets the ace. One after another, they come down. And he's pretty thankful that he gave up control of upper. Yeah. Didn't end up in that close range fight instead. Plenty of time to react on them. One at a time with that Vandal. FBX, five rounds of the board. A round they desperately needed as well. And so oh. I bet that Shao is pretty damn pumped right now. Yeah, that's one of the rounds where you just hype yourself up, right? It was double right-click with a classic on medium range, and it worked out for him. Little bit of RNG in there, but hell, a good way to finish off the ace. Angel aggressive spam for now at long. They really allow G2 to have a lot of control at mid over and over again. Completely polar opposites in how each team plays this. Look, they're just allowing them all the way around. And this is like a false sense of security here for G2. Oh, that's not what Xiao wanted, though. After such an incredible round, Mixwell, he's floating, he's flying, and he's done it again. Headshot landed with the knives. Meadows out of it. The B site is secure. And this is going to be so difficult for FPX. Oh, nice satchel, Angel. He's not loving that one. Pretty much just pistols and a vandal. Or a phantom, excuse me, and that works out. At least for the site. Spike still to come on Ooh. in, and Mixwell caught out from up above. Didn't know Angel <laughs> had an angle. Oh, this just went, what? Where? That was a massive gap for them. Oh, no. Now they're in a fight without Mixwell, without the ultimate, without the phantom. Where's the spike going down? It's only just made its way. It had to oh come my. all the way through from spawn wall in play. Out in the open, David B. That's very aggressive, considering they could already push out upper. But he's relying on that not happening delivers but angels managing to find himself a third before going down and all the pressure now relies on david p a 1v2 a vandal in hand he's being pushed from upper Ooh. and walked into the one position where they could both see him he had no idea but that didn't work out for him whatsoever i think shadow saw him even before that as well right just the top of his head couldn't tap it so the information was had no problem at all there for fpx and we certainly have a game on our hands now if g2 can't win a round like that they just got straight into the B site, and I don't even think they expected to be there so quickly, Mitch. Yeah, I think the problem was that they just had all those ghosts, and I'm, I'm not even certain that they had armor on those players. This is a really unfortunate one. For Mixwell with the ultimate in play, what I will say, I've noticed this a few times. He could have given the Phantom over to one of his teammates and allowed them to look to fight. 
Especially if you consider like yeah, how well yeah. Artis is playing. Because when he went for that fight down below, he had the ghost. Angel instantly just took him out. And for Mixwell, well, he still had knives up. He had three I in agree. reserve. I completely agree. Didn't even think about that when it was going down, yeah. For some reason, he just thought like he'd wasted his knives already. But no, oh, he hadn't mm -hmm. even seen anyone. Ooh, that's the start you want. Angel kept going aggressive. And David P just shot back at him. Cage trigger. You're not going to get away with that too many times. Ooh, Mixwell. The time this fades, he might be out in the open. This Tough could be interesting. This could be very dangerous. So Mixwell's got far, but oh, he's going up against the judge close range. Oh, my timing. Gosh. Why did you look to the right, Shell? Why? Oh, no. Again, the B site. It's fallen. Mixwell pushing around straight into shadow, but he's all alone. It's a 1v3. He's heard the boost come in. <laughs> what is David P doing? He's over on the A site. <laughs> David P is just playing his own game at this point. He's going wherever he wants. <laughs> Though if, if Shadow goes quick enough, oh, say he could just get two quick kills, that's a problem. There's no way that he suspects David P to be on it. Like, look, he's still over in A spawn. Out he's thinking charges. at this point that Shadow's gone for a save and they're trying to stop yeah. it. But obviously that for Shadow, he's looking clear in all these angles. There's one less player here than he actually thinks. And he has an ultimate. As a stun, but I don't think... It, oh, he's, he's going to ult that and just go in for the stick. This is a massive play. The TP, though, from Patatech. That's ah, just executed. <laughs> really well handled, making sure he had no time. I do appreciate the play, though, from Shadow. If Worth all it. players had been in there, he won that round. Yeah. It was a good attempt. It was certainly worth it. They needed something huge to happen. But G2 now two rounds away from taking this and going off to face Liquid in a best of one. FPX, they may have won this before against G2 on split, but the G2 that's showing up today, it's of a different class, it's of a different quality. It's of the class that we know the G2 can hit on a regular basis within Valorant. I love the straight execution. Yeah, just teleport over, stare at him like, yeah. hey buddy, you're uh, no. you what, what, what are you doing there, defusing her? David P, first man in with a res. I don't know about that one. So almost gets taken down. Got a little bit of a haircut on that ponytail on the way back down. Yeah, he's just got just a gap in the smoke. That's his smoke as well. It's Angel, so he could have that little bit of a little bit of a gap around the corner. Spot them out. But Zipan's the one that takes the first kill onto the attacking side. And of course, that is David wow. P. That is the res. Taken out of play. Hit, tucked in the corner, grabs one. He's going to spot them all out. This is the info now to play with, and I expect a quick B oh. play afterwards. They know there's only one here, and it's the Cypher. The res from Xiao. He's trying to bait Pith into the open. Maybe he thinks he's gone at this point. Oh, the staff. Pith just made a staff. They flash him. They rush oh. him down. And some... What? He's still alive? How's he gotten out of that one? <laughs> oh, he's tempting fate. Wait, he barely took any damage as well. Look at his health bar. Spike being down, though, and it's two versus three. Piff still needs to find his way back into the site. Oh, reloading in the open. It's a big risk, but it's working out. He's trying to spam back. He's going to hold on to this as best he can. The ults are going out as well from Ardis. G2, they really want this round. FPX, this could be a huge error. They should never be losing this round. Can they hold on to it? Piff knows he's got far to go. It's being looked at. It's going to be defused. It's not going to work out. Piff gets shot out of it by Zipan. And FPX got a round that really they had no business winning. No, definitely not. I mean, that opening was solid from them. David P goes down, which is a, a little bit awkward. When you look over towards that upper fight, again, as I said, the res just getting out of there. I don't know how Pith managed to make it out of yeah. that corner. Like, the first kill I get, the flash was perfect. They pushed him together. Everything about that worked out exactly as it should have except that they didn't hit their shots. He ended up, maybe the flash blinded them as well, because he had 88 HP when he made it back to mid, and he had to cross the whole way. Like that, that's It was insane. so confusing. Very confusing. I'm guessing the flash must have hit them as well, but it didn't look to me like it would have. And either way, makes it to mid, slows down that mid play, and it's all on artists. And if that ultimate had have actually caught them, if he had have hit them with it, well, then the show would definitely be stopped. Bomb, buddy out. Boombot set off on its little journey. G2 again with this mid control. They know they're allowed it so many times here from FPX. Their unique way of playing this. Shadow going to go check on it. Well, they, they've got a few guns and classics as well, which is 
unusual to Ooh, see. The noise is being made here, Shadow. This is the first one that jets forward. Oh, this goes down. Oh, the ult's coming out, but Piff, he's come to sideswipe them. They weren't ready for that, but he's only good for one. Now the rest of the team just being isolated by these fights one after another. Angel opens up another angle of Mixwell. Alongside David P, Rez in play, but he's not going to use it in this round, not unless they find a couple more kills. There is a weapon in Upper. The problem is that he has to get down. Oh, no, he's up behind them. Sneaky play. Zipan goes down. Now they can yes. rest. Now they can go for it, but it looks like they've called that they don't need to. Oh, oh, no. It's going to be Piff instead. Interesting. So they go for Piff. Of course, that was a fun plus Phoenix play that was down. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And I'm like, wait, they're, they're not because it was because it was red. Confusion had struck. So does Mixwell. He strikes the Angel's head. This is really good. Xiao now, he's got to do the unthinkable to be a 3v1 clutch. He starts off strong, but smart play from Piff to work his way all the way around. Xiao might not be expecting this. He's having a good look into the site, and Piff is hungry on the hunt, flanking him. Oh, David's going to see him. An easy kill to find. A 12th round secured. G2, they land onto match point, and FBX. They might be out of options here, Mitch. It's another great round from David P, really getting himself into the position in upper, and he waits a good 25, 30 seconds before actually making a move. His opponents had no idea that was coming through, and so when he eventually just swung around that corner, he caught them completely by surprise, gets the res through on the back of it, and then obviously the final kill to close it out. 12-7 to 7 with a five-round lead. It's very hard to imagine G2 losing this one. We know that FBX have got a solid defense, and last time they played, Obviously, with the pistol round taken out, which went in favor of FTX, G2 only found three buy rounds. But at the moment, the position they're in, they can, for example, just save over all their ults and just go for one massive round. All they have to do is make sure that FBX don't get too comfortable over on that defensive side. They, oh, the close play. Is there a judge in play as well? Yeah, there oh. is. Oh, Xiao, he's at it again. And he's not finished yet. He's looking to do more oh. destruction with the judge. He ends G2 in mid as they switch it up and allow him to have the control, but then jump on him and pounce. Yep, there was a judge in play. That's uh, <laughs> that's one hell of a play by Xiao. He's got his the rise Xiao up on the stopper, back. you can call that one. The Xiao stopper. Absolutely. Look at this. The first one goes to him. The second. Go out for the third. And then the final one to bring his ultimate online. Easy peasy. He only had three charges coming into that round, and now he's got a res. That's massive for FBX to have. If a round gets out of, out of their hands a little bit, they can pull it right back in. I love that, though, right? Because how you look at FBX and the way they play mid on their defensive side, they don't play it. They don't not inside it, right? And then on a round like that, they decide we'll commit to it, knowing that G2 will believe it's going to be empty. You now have to be very cautious all the time. You likely only get away with that once or twice in an entire game, but that was the time to use it. It's match point. Now you've got the weapons, now you can fight them. Though again, G2 got a lot of presence here. They've managed to get further than maybe what Zipan would expect. But luckily Shadow's there, he's well aware that this could be the case. How did Piff get away with that? I know exactly. I've no idea. Piff is having one hell of a game when it comes down to these scenarios where surely you count him as dead. Mix all though of the ult. He believes he can turn it around. 4v4b is completely open. And for G2, this is Oof. just a blessing. All Patatech has to worry about is a player being either pushed up in B or close on mid. And at this point, it's so you late, he wants to just rush in. Oh, 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 this turns it around, though. So Xiao got the kill, and he's gone in with the revive. That's nice. They both swing on him at the same time. They're not going to allow Mixwell to put in the work with the knives in his hand. Flying through from Patatech. Just going to smoke them off as well, hopefully delay it. Nade won't find anybody, but the info will be given over. Default's clear. Bot's not finding anything. TP from Ooh, Patatech careful. inside the smoke. Artis manages to pull another one through. The Nade pushes the player oh. forward. Patatech's able to isolate the fight, but has more to do. Got to pull it off in the 1v2. Spike not being defused just yet, but he has so many angles to worry about. Oh, no, Angel! That was so close. Again, just outlining Patatech, but eventually following through and pulling the mouse back a little bit. How did take manage to swing on that by mistake? Like just quick turn. Yep. That would have been a, a yikes for me. Angel wouldn't be sleeping for weeks. 12-9. G2 may be on match point. They only need one round to secure, but that's two in a row now for FPX. 
two in a row where his last part was a little bit too scary considering. Back and forth, swings in control. That's why Angel uses the Vandal, Mitch. He's not a <laughs> Phantom fan, you know? No, he needs the single bullet accuracy, not the, the spray. That was quite unfortunate. But either way, look, it worked out. They yeah. got that extra round on the board. It came very close, though, considering G2 were looking down and out in that, what, 2v4? It was a very winnable situation in the end. Three between them. But luckily, this will make it two, more than likely. FBX, or G2, sorry, just down on pistols. It's a massive advantage for FBX. They've gone for, a, like, a very hard sight... Excuse me, sight hold. The camera's going to give them info as heaven is overtaken, but this is where pistols can be dangerous. They can just waterfall down on top. Oh, no. How did Meadow get taken down? Shadow's under pressure as well. He's trying to hold on to it, but the paranoia's come out towards him. They are trying to take him, and eventually he will fall. Luckily, Adriel's come round, though. Spike's down. And that's a problem. They could have had the spike planted. Ultimate for Ardis. That could be a difference maker, Banks. Question is, will it be? Oh, they're so close to the spike as well. Ardis. Doesn't have any blast back. Here's stuff. Goes in for the first. Ult's going up. Oh, luckily, Zipan's there to save the day. That could have been devastating. Grenade's going out as well. Only Palatech to find. 1v2. Shadow's traveling. The all forward, but Shao's right on the edge of it. And Shao on his defensive side looks like a different person compared to when he was playing on the attack. We're now two rounds away from it going to overtime, Mitch. And Fun plus Phoenix have been in the driving seat the last few rounds. G2 need to turn this around, and they need to do it now because this is getting scary. That wall from Shao on mid is literally what won them the game. Because Artis, or that round rather, because Artis put his blast packs on it to destroy it quickly. Obviously having pistols, it takes quite a while to destroy it. You've either got to run and knife it or waste a lot of ammo. And because he didn't have those blast packs, when he popped the ult, he had to just run and jump up mm -hmm. on top of boxes. The bazooka even blocking the angle so he couldn't see the player on his right. And if he had a blast pack, he would have just swung around that corner much quicker and easily gotten at least a kill out of it. Yeah, sped on round him. And made his mark. What a crazy game this has been, though. It was really looking like G2 were just going to be able to take this in style. The Fun plus Phoenix, they are not giving up. They're continuing to hold on to this. Xiao has looked so much better this time around. Since he got that ace, <laughs> he started to get that confidence, started to feel it once again. That's what you want to see. FBX have got the ult advantage as well. Obviously, whenever Raze is up, you're going to be a happy boy. I wasn't worried about Piff there, Angel. Potentially going for the push. Timing, though, and that's not working out for Angel. That was a huge bait. Piff just ran away. Everyone else was waiting outside. Angel thinks he's going to get a quick flank on, and instead just gets a couple bullets to the face. Ooh. They know Shadow plays here. This is his fallback spot, and he's being fallen. He's gone and fallen as Patatech shuts him down and puts it into a three versus five. This is very unfortunate now for FPX because if they don't get into this one, they've lost the best of one and it's the lower bracket they're on the way to. G2 have got such good positions here as well. The number advantage. The Zipan's looking to turn it around. His ult's up. It's got to be a scary one, but it doesn't connect. That's not what you want to see. This is problematic. Meadow's going to try and put in some work as well. Zipan's looking up into the site, but the Cypher Cam's going to be uploaded. Positions are going to be given away, but is it enough to change it? Oh, the spray miss comes in. G2 got to be oh so careful. It's now the 1v1. Fun plus Phoenix. They're trying to hold on to it. Piff, he can save the day. The fake defuse comes in. He tries to go around the side of him. But he seals the deal. G2 take the win, and it's 13-10. The spam even lighting him up a little bit before that fight came through. It was looking like we were going to see it actually go.